All right, for this problem, we have to determine the value of x and also find the measure of angle A. So x is located inside this expression here and this expression here. And angle A is at the top of our triangle. So in order to find angle A, we need to know the sum of the other two interior angles before we can find A. To find any missing angle of a triangle, you have to know the value of the two others. Well, we know that this one here is 60 degrees, but we do not know what the measure of angle B is right here. All that is given is that it is equal to 4x. So what we have to do first is figure out what x is equal to. So when we plug that value into x, we can figure out what this angle is in fact equal to. So what we're gonna do first is recognize that this angle right here, angle G, and this angle right here, angle B, are supplementary angles. This obtuse angle added to this acute angle make a straight angle or a sum of 180 degrees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this expression to this expression and set that sum equal to 180 degrees. So we're gonna write 15x minus 10, and we're gonna take this 4x and add it to this expression. These are the two angles in question. This is our obtuse angle, this is our acute angle, and the sum of those is equal to 180 degrees. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to combine our x terms here. We have 15x and 4x, which is a total of 19x. And right away, we're gonna take this constant of minus 10 and move it to the other side of our equation by writing its inverse, which is to add 10. So we're gonna take 19x and set that equal to this sum, which is 190. Next, we divide both sides by the coefficient of 19 and that is gonna give us a value of x is equal to 10. Now that we know that x is equal to 10, we're gonna substitute 10 in for x in this expression. So four times 10 would of course be 40 degrees. So now we have two of our three interior angles. So we know that we have to find angle A. So we're gonna say that A plus this angle 40 degrees plus this angle, 60 degrees, is equal to a total sum of 180 degrees. Remember, the interior angle sum of any triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. So now all we gotta do is figure out what A is so that when we add it to 40 and 60, it would be a total of 180. Well, we know that 40 plus 60 is 100, and the only thing that A could be to add to 100 to equal 180 would be 80. So this angle right here is equal to 80 degrees. So sometimes when you're asked to find the measure of a specific angle, sometimes you have to look elsewhere in that figure and figure out that information before you can figure out the information that you are actually looking for. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math video. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new videos to my channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.